Hey guys, this is uh, Defy Gravity from Defiance Clan. Um, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on Cinema 4D. Uh, I've just downloaded it, I'm quite happy. Um, so what I'm going to do is the random effector. Uh, it's a really nice intro to do and uh, I think you may enjoy it. So what you want to start off by doing is getting the Mo text. Uh, my favourite text at the moment. Ooh. Oh, what's going on here already? Um, uh, anyway, yeah. Um, my favourite text at the moment is this Batman Forever font. It's really cool. So I'm just going to have Defy. Doesn't matter what capitals it's in if you're using this font. Get it from uh, Defont uh, online. It's easy. It's easy to get different fonts. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is click on here. Um, so you go depth, I'm going to put it up to 75-ish. Caps, fill it cap and both. Um, both of these up. Fill it cap and... Mm, just leave it like that for now. Um, so you can see these are joined up, which I don't really want. So what I'm going to do... Let's go up, uh, object, horizontal spacing and move them out a bit like that. And so, and, um, oops. I'm going to just make a new material, um, just a random one. Make it uh, bluey, like dark blue. Um, luminance, about 50. Uh, there. So I like making these like cool colours. I, I find it pretty cool uh, being able to make them and things. So I'm gonna put it down and the yeah, out strength can come down a lot. There. Illumination. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking that's alright. Um, so and then you just drag it onto there. Done. It'll look better if you render it out, so there. Look, it's pretty good. Uh, I'll have to render it differently for, um, when I've finished, but it is pretty good. So, anyway, um, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to press C and then drop it down until you get all these. Highlight the defy words and drag it away from the folder so you can delete that. Yeah, you have to. And I only like drag it on. So if you're having long words, then you have to like drag each one of the colours onto it, which is quite annoying. But the effect that you get is quite nice, so it's worth it. Anyway, so you have this defy thing here, and uh, what you want to do is highlight all these, um, MoGraph. Then you want to add a fracture. Drag all these into fracture. If not. Okay, highlight all of that and then MoGraph effector and you want to get a random effector. And then with this you can like go to uh, effector and like change the strength of it. Um, you want to go to param parameter though to like change it all. Sorry if you can hear that in the background. Um, so you can have position and rotation. I don't really like to change the scale, it just makes it look a bit uh, tacky and not really that nice. But um, yeah, so yeah, I'll, you're going to have to change it a lot. I don't know why it's being a bit um, slowish. Like, yeah, but yeah. so that's the rotation. and move. I like to move them out of the screen-ish. And uh... Yeah, sorry about this. It's just it can be annoying making these, but as I say, it's worth it. Anyway, so what you want to do is effect a strength. Oh yeah, that's gonna be miles. So I'm just gonna get it so it's just outside of the screen, so you can see there that it's only just out of the screen. What you want to do is click it on this. So hold Control, press there, get it all the way to the end, and press it again. It means you've made a keyframe for this, and when you press play. I've done that wrong. Definitely done that wrong because I know what I've done. I'm gonna do that again. Sorry. Uh, sorry. This is I haven't done this for a long time, so I'm a bit 
uh, iffy with it. But anyway, effector. So you want to hold down control to make a keyframe. You see the keyframe came. And then you want to go to about 90 and pull it all the way down. And then hold control and press it again, which means it's made another keyframe. Now when you press play, they slowly come in into the Defy, which I think this is a really nice effect. I'm going to put the frames up to 150. There we go. So, let's see. Yeah. So I'll pause that. Back to start. Um, I'm going to have it there. Uh, I'm going to add a... Uh, where is it? Uh, plane, put it down a bit, and then like spam it like mad. And then like you got a massive plane. Um, so if I render this out again, yeah, it's not looking too good at the moment, but hopefully it will do. I'm gonna rotate this so it's a bit up like that, and this up a bit. Um, One sec, that's, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? Right, let's see, render this out. So yeah, that's looking, it's not the best thing in the world at the moment, I understand that. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to lo lower that down a bit more. Um, I'm going to change the colour of this, probably to um, a dark grey, um, to just colour. And near grey. But like um a bit more. Um well yeah. Uh yeah, the better thing to do is uh open that up and get dark grey there. Yeah, and that's what I want. I want a nice reflection. Uh tick that. You don't want it fully reflective, just a bit so you can kind of see into it. So now if I render this, yeah, you can kind of see the Defy thing here, which I think that looks quite nice, to be honest. Um, and now I'm going to add a light, so if I drag this across, is that a light? Yep. So what you want to do is raise that up all the way out here, and to the front a bit. If I can grab it. Oh dear. There. Hopefully that's going to be quite nice. Um, if not, I'm going to... Right, let's render that. Um, yeah, it's quite nice, I think. So this is only a tutorial. You can do whatever you want with the lights. Um, so, let's see. I'm going to render this out, so I'll be right back. Um, so, yeah, be right back. So yeah, this is the finished product. Um, it took me about 10 minutes to put together. Um, and I hope that uh, you can do better and 